Hey, hey, everybody, what is going on? Siri Love Drive here, and today we're playing Avowed. What we're going to be doing today is going over how you can reduce lag and increase your FPS in the game Avowed. First, we're going to be going over some easy stuff, and then at the end, we're going to be going over some things that you can mess with in the app data folder. They're going to get you a little bit of extra oomph for the game, but make things a little bit buggy. So if you're looking for some real technical stuff, jump to the end. Otherwise, let's not waste any time and get into these settings. So this is obviously where you should be looking. We're going to go over the easiest stuff first. Basically, set your graphics quality to low. The reason you want to do this is to see if there are issues with the graphics or if it's something else. Setting your graphics to low if everything starts working. Now you can just sort of play with these settings and get things working. If you want to play with the settings, usually what I do, turn the view distance as high as you can manage. Shadows, I keep low. Texture, I keep fairly low. Shading, keep that low. Same with effects. Foliage is a big one to keep low. Reflections, you want to keep low. Like a lot of the stuff, you just want to keep it low. But big things you want to focus on, the big things I've noticed that matter, foliage, shading, and shadow. Those matter a lot. They affect the game a little bit, but turning those down does really help. Now let's get into some of these other settings and some other things that you can check off because there's there's a lot of things that people miss. First off, if you're having issues with the game, don't go playing it in windowed full screen mode. Go to windowed mode, and what you're going to want to do is drop the resolution as low as you're willing to go. Now, if you want to play at 4K or 2K or whatever, you can have it all the way up. And in this case, a DLSS is going to help. A frame generation is going to help. But if you set your resolution way down, DLSS isn't going to help as much. But you're just going to get more like bang for your buck, basically. So if you want the game to run at the highest FPS possible, set the resolution down. If you want a beautiful looking game, set it up and use a DLSS. What DLSS does is it uses a bunch of, you know, the, we'll call it AI, but AI is a buzzword right now. It uses a bunch of stuff to basically upscale the game. And what that means is it takes it from a lower resolution to a higher resolution and it costs less. It's a little bit heavier on the GPU. A lot of these things are, but it's good overall. NVIDIA reflex low latency. I like to turn that off. To me, it doesn't really like it. I haven't noticed too much input lag or anything like that. It says it optimizes how the GPU and CPU interacts, but sometimes that does give me issues. So if you're having lag issues or weird stuttering, I turn the low latency off. Same with the frame generation. I tried doing that. And even the DLSS ray tracing that's on over here. You want to turn this off. It's going to lower things. Motion blur. This does make things feel wonky sometimes. So turning this down can actually help. With field of view, the lower you turn it, the less things are in your field of view. So this can actually reduce lag a little bit. And a big one here is with the frame limit. The lower your frame limit, it's going to feel better. If you're going between 30 FPS and 60 FPS, you might think it's better because you get 60 FPS more. But those drops can feel wonky. They can feel weird. So sometimes it's better just to do 30 FPS and accept the fact that you're not playing at 69, but you're still getting a steady 30. Other things that you can change, other things you should be doing, if you have anything running in the background, if you have any overlays, Steam overlays, NVIDIA for overlays, anything like that, make sure you turn those off. If you're recording gameplay, you might want to turn that off because that does slow things down. Not everybody can be me getting 420 views on your best video ever. But yeah, if you, if you turn off recordings, that is going to help. If you turn off your overlays, that's going to help. If you turn off that Chrome tab that has a million open, that Chrome browser that has a million open tabs, that's actually going to help too because that reduces stuff in your RAM and just general like where or not where but general like pull on your systems. There's, there's a lot of things you can do but background things you do want to turn those off. You want to make sure all your drivers are up to date for some people that has fixed things just keeping everything up to date. And I didn't mention it but VSync sometimes turning that off does help a lot. So if you're running into issues turn VSync off, turn ray tracing off. Play around with DLSS frame generation, video low rate latency, but don't just leave them on and assume they're working. Sometimes these things have something weird going on and turning them off does help. Motion blur, I'd turn that down. Go into windowed mode. Reduce the resolution as low as you're willing to go. If you're willing to play it 640 by 480, give it a go. That does look pretty weird though, but give it a go if you're willing to. Now, let's get into the, the thing that I teased, that sort of like weirdness that I was talking about because... This, this is something that someone on Reddit posted. I played with this. It does feel a little weird and it, it is buggy, but this does improve performance. So what we're going to be doing is in the engine.ini file, we're going to be disabling Lumen. So full credit to this goes to Paradoxal456. They posted this on Reddit. 
and the lines that they posted i'm going to put down below in the description but what you want to go do is you want to go into your app data folders the way you do this is go to the user that you're having in windows i'm assuming that everybody's using this on windows if you're playing on linux you know what you're doing so go to the app data folder but what you want to do is you want to go to your user and type in slash app data a p p d a t a with the first a app and d capitalized then you go to local and now don't ask me why you go to alabama you go to saved you go to config now you go into your win gdk or you're going to go into windows and here you're going to find find an engine.ini file what you need to do is that what i've got pasted down below you need to copy that into the file you need to find those lines delete those lines and then copy these lines into the file and that is going to basically disable lumens so lighting is going to be a little bit weirder but it is going to save you some fps and reduce some lag anyways i hope that helps if it does please make sure you hit like and subscribe but thank you so much for watching every every view helps the channel and i'm just trying to keep this thing going keep this thing growing and make videos that help people thank you for watching until next time peace